Hey guys, just thought I'd make a real quick video for you. Um, I'm really excited uh, because I have received something today that I think you guys will enjoy a fair bit. Um, it is the MFA tournament mask from Leon Paul. So I've actually managed to get my hands on one and I'm pretty keen for it. Um, before I try it on, uh, for you just so you can see what it looks like, um, I'm just going to quickly read the, uh, the, the blurb on the website. <clears throat> so this is just on the Leon Paul um, website. Uh, MFA Tournament Mask. MFA Tournament Mask is the latest introduction to the Leon Paul Hemmer range. The maximum in safety standards for the most demanding situations. Go figure. Will fit medium to large heads. Will not fit small or extra large. So that's something very important to, to, uh, to keep in mind. Um, it goes for about 300 pounds uh, and if you can convert that into Australian dollars yeah um, description MFA tournament mask is the latest introduction Leon Paul range da, 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 da. it was designed with having the toughest situations in mind like Epe the tournaments were use uh, usual masks take the most damage the solid skull is made of 2.5 stainless steel that's pretty good and the face is made of 2mm stainless perforated plate. The MFA tournament mask features an innovative 360 protection system. Innovative. Ah, oh, well, yeah, all right, we'll just, we'll just go with it. I'll reserve criticism. Protection system where the mask covers the back of the head. Hmm. And the neck where usual masks need additional protection. So basically what it's saying is rather than what most people do in Hema, where you might have a normal fencing mask and stick a flap over the back of it or sort of jerry-rig something up. Um, basically, it's, it's built. It's a helmet. It's a helmet. It's not a mask at all. It's a helmet. Um, really. Uh, back of the head with neck needs additional protection. The padding is compromised of a set of foam inserts. Not sure what per foam in particular. Used for modern helmets to dampen the blow. So... Uh, Again, I'm not sure yet whether that's um, whether that's because it's motorcycle foam or what or what exactly they mean by modern helmets. Because if it's a modern SCA helmet, it's just blue foam. Um, the bib uses the same system we use for the exchange masks and can be taken out for washing. So it's a standard fencing bib, uh, basically. Total weight three kilograms, which is pretty significant, but you know, not out of thing. The bib can be slid out of the mask, which means. Not only can you wash it monthly, monthly, oof, yeah, try like annually, or replace it every few seasons, but you can also have a range of different bibs, which I think is very important. Um, just a few words. Now, if you've seen any pictures of it, uh, I'll see if I can put a picture up. I don't have editing software on this computer, um, so I have to use the YouTube editor. <laughs> Um, but if you've seen it, basically it is uh, looks like a fencing mask on steroids had a bastard child with a salé or salad, uh, as some people like to say. Um, it's uh, front or back closing, so it closes. You put it on on the front like a fencing mask, and then you close it at the back. Um, stainless steel skull with a bib. Um, and judging from the pictures, again, I'm just looking at the pictures here, it would appear that it is fitting inside the Leon Paul fencing jacket collar, um, although that's not abundantly clear, um, because if it's got a bib, then presumably that would be sit out of it. I, you know, again, I'm not terribly sure. Um, and it is held together with some lovely brown leather straps, which they should probably just change to black uh, synthetic straps or, well, that would just be my immediate thing. Anyway, you've probably had enough of that. Um, people are talking about it on Reddit as well, um, and they're pretty excited about it. So without further ado, I'm just going to quickly put it on and I'll come back and show you guys. So here we go. Three, two, one. Ta-da! What do you guys think? Huh? Hmm? Pretty cool. I think it's really streamlined. I think the Leon Paul has really gone above and beyond 
uh, designing this. So fantastic. Kudos to Leon Paul for that. Uh, I'll do a fuller review of it later on. Um, it's pretty hard to get into and out of, as you might imagine. Not really uh, too ergonomic on that front. But otherwise, feels pretty good. Um, haven't used it yet, but I'll, uh, I'll use it and I'll report back. So, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, and I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.